Hey, this is Donnie Smith. Today we're going to test some uh, ceramic paint. We're going to paint a helmet. You know, a helmet takes a lot of abuse. And we're going to spray uh, some paint on this. And we're going to go, go ahead and clear cut it just to see if it's, uh, you know, as hard as it is. Now, so the ceramic clear is supposed to be mar resistance. For example, you know, rubbing and scuffing on it or, you know, washing it. It's not supposed to, you know, damage the surface. And what it was originally uh, designed for, I think Mercedes and some of the higher end cars, uh, started using ceramic, so we're going to be repairing these cars, you know, after they've uh, been in an accident, you know, we're going to have to put the uh, ceramic clear back on. But anyway, I just wanted to test it a little bit, uh, you know, doesn't say it's designed for helmets, just to test it to see, you know, if anything's going to get scuffed up, it's going to be a helmet, you know, they get tossed on the ground and things like that, uh, just to see, you know, how far it can go. Now, obviously, we're not going to be able to fully test this for a while. We're going to go ahead through the process of this video and, and, uh, and show you how to clear coat and show you a little bit about the ceramic clear and then we'll determine you know if it's uh, you know if it's good for this this type of uh, application now think about plastic what we've done uh, there's a pad in here we used a heat gun to heat the glue up we took the, the inner pad out there's some decals we used a heat gun to take those off we cleaned it off real good soap and water and then we sanded it off with some uh, 500 grit sandpaper and then to sure we got all the little crevices, we used a scuff pad. Uh, then we washed again with soap and water and masked off the little holes in here. Uh, so the odor spray's not going all in the inside and now we're gonna start the spraying process. But one thing about plastic you wanna be very careful about is things don't stick to it well. And there's a couple of steps. We've got some multi-prep here. Now this is not a solvent-based uh, wax and grease remover. You don't want to get that on plastic because it kind of absorbs into the plastic. So it's a more of an alcohol type, type cleaner. But we're going to clean this off, wipe it down, just to make sure it's clean. And another step we're going to do is we've got some adhesive an 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 promoter. And you always want to use an adhesive an promoter with bare plastic just for that extra adhesion or else that's a, a lot of times uh, people have had problems with uh, paint peeling from plastic and that's the cause of it. You want to get it on there good and wet and wipe it off when it's still wet. You don't ever want these cleaners to dry on their own uh, without wiping them or you're just not going to get the contaminants off. So I'm going to go over this a couple of times just to make sure we've got it good and clean. And then this is a uh, 3, 3M adhesion promoter that I have here. Uh, there's a lot of different brands that make plastic adhesion promoters, like a plastic primer. It's just that extra little bond you need to, to allow your coatings to stick well. And the thing about this is you want to put light coats on. You don't want to put it on too heavy. So several light coats is going to work well. And then you let it uh, flash dry for at least five minutes. Uh, if you wait a little longer, that's all right. I think it recommends if, it, if it's longer than uh, 24 hours, you need to reapply this before you start applying your coatings. So we're going to put a thin coat on. We'll let that dry for just a minute and we'll put another thin coat on and then we'll let it flash off for 5-10 minutes. got that on there we're going to let it dry and we'll come back and spray here in a little bit okay uh, we've got it all prepped sanded got the uh wiped down clean the heat promoter's been on there for five minutes and now we're going to use some primer sealer to go ahead and seal over the, the helmet and then we'll shoot some paint 
and then we'll try out that ceramic clear coat. Now obviously we're going to have to wait, this video is going to have to be continued because we're going to have to wait and see how it withstands. You know, only time will tell, you know, if it does withstand Mars and scratches like it claims. But I will say that the clear coat sprayed on real nice, had a real nice gloss and it flowed out real good. But like I say, uh, we will do another video after time to see how it holds up.